Hey, how's it going? Uh, so today I just want to talk about um, self-love. Self-love from an unconditional place within us means acceptance, patience, and that's unconditional acceptance as well. So total acceptance, patience, non-judgment, uh, no, not even like really being critical on ourselves and any time that we're being triggered by the external reality so any time that we're having an emotional reaction um, more likely to be a negative emotional reaction to a circumstance that we find ourselves in that's a potential for learning and also clearing that reactive pattern because the reactive pattern is coming from a place of unconsciousness that we don't realize that we've actually created the situation for our own learning. So when we can start to realize that everything that we experience and see around us is us, we've created it. We're creating it for the experience of uh, living and for the experience of duality. And almost like, how do we survive and grow and go back home when we've shattered everything apart? You know, how do we pick up all the pieces to go back home? And it's all completely possible because we live in a divine, divinely kind of guided and ordered universe. And so we are that too. Um, a lot of, I find I'm getting into this sense of much of like truth as I'm understanding it or as I'm feeling into it is paradoxical from the mental perception. Uh, it's paradoxical from the sensory perception because um, we perceive everything and we, we've defined a lot of stuff up to this point. So we define everything as this or that, as real or not. And, and uh, I find in, in that idea of like a truthful paradox that everything is real and no thing is real. That it's the, the duality and the opposing forces that bring everything into having an experience of duality and yet none of it is ultimately real. It's, it's a projection. It's a, it's a, it's a breath-like projection from one moment to the next of how we're feeling and what we're continuing to project out there. So we really want to be really aware, really, really aware of what we're thinking and what we're feeling and what, how we're visioning our life for the future. Because all of that stuff can make all the difference as far as what we end up creating and where we end up being. And knowing and trusting that along the way, every single encounter we have, whether it's with a human, another human, or whether we have an encounter with an animal or a tree, you know, whatever that encounter is, if we're feeling something, there's some, uh, there's something to learn. There's a lesson there to have, and, um, and this is something you know really important because most of us have sort of been, uh, we've conditioned ourselves to be reactive, and and then we get together, we gang up on other people, and we, we're attacking what we are essentially. So we, we I mean, anytime we judge or attack the external reality, we're hiding, um something from ourselves, something actually that wants to be brought to light, something that wants to be felt and brought to light so that we can harmonize our own lives and harmonize um, or assist as, as it's one and the same thing. Everything is one and the same. So if we harmonize our own life, then we are too assisting or illuminating the harmonization of others' lives because we're all one, because everything's all connected. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at today. I'm hosting a uh, surf and yoga and self-love retreat in Morocco uh, in February next year. I'd love for people to join me. There's um, no more than 12 spaces. Uh, even, even that's kind of pushing it. So uh, it's, I, I think it's quite kind of affordable for people. Um, and it's in a kind of uh, simple Moroccan style surf house so we'll get free surf lessons every day and lots of yoga and lots of really deep chats about the shift of paradigm and how more of us can embody uh, the new, embody that uh, quantum level and uh, a, a very conscious awareness of our creative power and also as we come into unification an acceptance of our co-creative power as well as we come to create with other beings 
and uh, also as we come to create with a recognition that indeed we are always creating uh, with the all, with the totality of all there is. So there is always an element of co-creation with self. Uh, but recognizing that with integrity as sovereign beings, we are true, truly powerful, magnificent creators. And that's something uh, to love, something to embrace. And I'm finding at the same time something to really feel uh, humility with. Uh, because as soon as we have a feeling of like arrogance or domination, we're just falling back into some of the same old ego trips, uh, which again, separate us from other people, uh, put some people high, put some people low, put some people in the dark, put some people in the light. No, 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 like we're all, we're all one with all there is. We're all God, we're all pure, we're all innocent, we're all sinless, yeah? Like all that kind of stuff. We're all totally it. And it's just that um, some of us have chosen different uh, levels of awareness for this life. Some of us have chosen uh, different paths to get back home. And it's not really a, our concern as beings to judge other people. Again, if we're judging them, it's because we haven't uncovered that aspect in self, in our own self. But as soon as we start making the transition, what I can see around me is that there's plenty of us, there's loads and loads of peoples and healers and uh, inspired teachers and um, just people. There's just people everywhere who really accept and are learning and embracing this new way of being. And it's really exciting for me. So come with me to Morocco and we'll dive deep into uh, the waters of our awareness. And I hope to see you real soon. Peace out. Namaste, y'all. Take care. All to love. All to love.